In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel Andres from the Mission of San Andrew Apostle in Tijuana, Baja California, Diocese of Mexico, the Orthodox Church in America. Welcome again to the Gospel of today, the 8th of September 2018, according to St. Matthew. An account of the genealogy of Jesus the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac, and Isaac the father of Jacob, and Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers, and Judah the father of Perez, and Sirah by Tamar, and Perez the father of Hezron, and Hezron the father of Aram, and Aram the father of Aminadab, and Aminadab the father of Nason, and Nashon the father of Salmon, and Salmon the father of Boaz by Rahab, and Boaz the father of Obed by Ruth, and Obed the father of Jesse, and Jesse the father of King David. And David was the father of Solomon, by the wife of Uriah, and Solomon the father of Rehoboam, and Rehoboam the father of Abijah, and Abijah the father of Asaph, and Asaph the father of Je Jehoshaphat, and Jehoshaphat the father of Horam, and Horam the father of Uzziah, and Uzziah the father of Hotham, and Jotham the father of Ahaz, and Ahaz the father of Zekiah, and Ezekiah the father of Manasseh, and Manasseh the father of Amos, and Amos the father of Josiah, and Josiah the father of Jeconiah and his brothers, at the time of the deportation to Babylon. And after the deportation to Babylon, Jeconiah was the father of Salathiel, and Salathiel the father of Zerubbabel, and Zerubbabel the father of Abiud, and Abiud the father of Eliakim, and Eliakim the father of Azor, and Azor the father of Sadok, and Sadok the father of Akim, and Akim the father of Eliud, and Eliud the father of El Eleazar, and Eleazar the father of Mathan, and Mathan the father of Jacob, and Jacob the father of Joseph the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called the Messiah. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her, conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will take his people from their sin. He will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. Saint Irenaeus said, one of the Apostolic Fathers, whatever is not assumed is not redeemed. There, today, that from time immemorial, we celebrate the birth of the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. One apostolic see, the Roman see, recently has proposed this heresy, an immaculate conception, out of their own thinking and totally against the fathers, the tradition fathers, the fathers of tradition. What is not assumed cannot be redeemed, said the Apostolic Father Saint Irenaeus. If Mary was immaculate from her conception, that is, if she bear not the marks of the original sin, as they propose, then she was totally out of contest with everyone else. But because the Romans could not figure out how God would make her Panhagia, that is all holy, they would rather went to that place thinking and thinking and uh, being uh, fooled by the devil in their, in their thinking, and they presented a heresy. If she is not like everyone else, then she is not, she is not human. She is not human, 
then they are going against the creed. When the fathers of the creed in the Nice Constantinople, they wrote that Christ is true God and true man. He has to be a true man. That is exactly what St. Irenaeus is saying. What is not assumed is not redeemed. We're not, I'm not saying, nobody is saying that the Lord is similar to us in sins. Paul is very, St. Paul is very clear on that. Similar to us except in the sin. But it also, this idea, this heretic idea about the Immaculate Conception goes against even the, the, the Holy Theotokos. For it was through her, her willingness, through her obedience, through her hearing, that she was cleansed of everything and became the all, the all Hagios, the Pan Hagios, that is the all holy. It's not because herself was originally and ontologically without sin, but she was made so. She is the epitome, the absolute climax for any Christian. And what are the three virtues that she has? She listens to the word, she is humble, and she obeys the word. I would suggest that you hear the gospel of today in my channel, the Orthodox Gospel, because there we will hear the Lord saying how she heard the word of God. May the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary intercede before God for all of you and myself and grant us a good defense before the red judgment seat of Christ. For blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.